you're probably paying too much for the Milwaukee batteries you're using in your tools. You're probably using the wrong battery in your Milwaukee tools. You're making a big mistake. And in this video, we're gonna help you stop from making mistakes. Because after this video, if you choose to keep doing what you're doing, ignorance will not be an excuse anymore. Welcome back everybody, my name is Vince. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome to you especially. We have a whole bunch of batteries here, we have some tools, we're gonna to go over this as quickly as possible. We're gonna start off with the batteries. We have multiple battery packs that are the same in dimensional size. Literally, these two battery packs are identical in size, but they're not identical in their capacity. This is a two amp hour battery. This is a one and a half amp hour battery. Sometimes the, the XC 3.0 battery pack will be missing its 3.0 designation. It will just say XC. These also are dimensionally the same, as well as the four amp hour or XC 4.0 would be dimensionally the same as these battery packs. We have some of the newest red lithium battery packs. They are the HO designation. For the focus here, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the XC 6.0 in the high output version. Delivers 108 watt hours. We have the XC 8.0 high output offering dimensionally, once again, the same as the 6.0, but this battery pack delivers 144 watt hours. The reason that these battery packs are all the same in size, it has nothing to do with additional cells creating the extra watt hours. It is, in fact, the quality of battery cells within the battery packs. In the standard red lithium line, whether it be CP or XC, or even the high demand 9.0 battery pack, all of these battery packs are using an 18650 cell. That's why you could have in a battery pack this size, three amp hour, four amp hour, or five amp hour. Let's move on to the high output battery packs. These battery packs are using 21700 cells from the same manufacturers. We have a 6.0 battery pack here or an 8.0 battery pack. This is the Red Lithium High Output HD 12.0. It's not only high output, it's also high demand. This is also using 21700 cells. If you're using a high demand tool or light, for instance, okay, or a vacuum cleaner, non-fuel. We've done the testing. First of all, there's no advantage to using a high output battery in something like a light. There's no advantage in things like a vacuum cleaner. You're not gonna get any more suction out of this vacuum cleaner if you put in this, this high output HD 12.0. If you already own a high demand 9.0, this is pretty much an obsolete battery. You should be using these in things like lights, vacuum cleaners. You're gonna get more runtime, and you, you wouldn't see a benefit in performance if you're using upgraded cells anyway. So burn these things out on things like lights and vacuum cleaners. Things where performance ne doesn't necessarily matter or you're not gonna see a performance gain. At this point, this is an obsolete battery. Do not buy it unless you're getting a terrific deal. What battery should you be using in a circular saw? This is one of those instances where you definitely want a high output battery. This saw, because of its fuel technology, will take advantage of the high output architecture in these batteries equipped with 21700 cells. Now here's the deal. You're going to be able to make the most cuts and get the most power out of this array and use the 12 amp hour battery in your circular saw. Some of you have complained about weight and had asked Milwaukee to build you a kit that included this saw with two 6.0 batteries when it was released. I one up you and say, if you're gonna be running this saw all day, every day, you don't want the weight of the 12.0, I found that a great compromise is the eight amp hour battery in this saw. 
get a couple of those. This is how I would run this saw. High demand tool like this super whole hog. For the most bang for the buck, you're gonna to wanna to go HD 12.0 on this. But if you're lugging it around all day and you wanted to compromise, once again, your XC 8.0. If you're going to be running fuel hammer drills or impact drivers, one of my favorite ways for the Gen 3 impact driver and even the hammer drill was to run the CP 2.0 battery. This battery really makes this tool unbelievably compact and a pleasure to use day in and day out. Even on the hammer drill, look how compact that tool is now. With that being said, I would not purchase CP 2.0 batteries anymore. I would have suggested a few years back going with this size battery possibly for these tools for daily use all day. But you're making a huge mistake if you're buying those CP 2.0s to run, to run these tools. A much better option for this impact driver and hammer drill would be to go with the high output CP 3.0 battery pack. This battery pack has the newest 21700 cells. It's going to run cooler. It's going to deliver more power to the tool. These tools have fuel architecture and are equipped electronically to take advantage of the upgraded cells. They're able to pull more power, they're able to run, the battery's able to run cooler than these older battery pack designs. If you're really looking to take advantage of the high output architecture batteries, I would suggest running your, your hammer drill with a minimum XC 6.0. There is no reason to run an XC 5.0 anymore. And there's, and there's multiple reasons not to run this battery pack. If you are running this battery pack, you're making a big mistake. Why are you making a mistake if you're running the CP 2.0s in place of a CP 3.0? The most obvious answer is price. A single CP 2.0 will cost you $89. A two pack of CP 2.0s are $144.97. Why would you spend all that money on these batteries when you can get an upgraded CP 3.0 HO battery pack, which delivers more total power for not much bigger of a footprint? Here's the thing a two pack of CP 3.0s you can find for $99. So two of these battery packs are only $10 more than a single. Stop wasting your money on CP 2.0s. I know some of you are saying, Vince, but my combo kit of my Gen 3 tools, it didn't come with HO batteries. It came with five amp XC 5.0 batteries. I understand. And sometimes we'd like to just continue on with what we know. We don't necessarily want to upgrade. We don't want to take a step back. But here's the thing. You're being foolish if you're continuing to run these XC 5.0s in any capacity. Unless you own these already and you're just running them out, that's, that's understandable. You already own them. But if you're investing in new batteries and asking me which packs should you be investing in instead of XC 5.0s, you should be investing in high output XC 6.0s. This is the replacement for this obsolete XC 5.0 battery pack. This much upgraded XC 6.0 is only $10 more at $149 compared to an obsolete offering that's costing you $139. This is going to deliver more power to your fuel tools. Here's the thing, I know some of you are thinking, well, I'm not running fuel tools. I'm only running brushless tools or M18 tools. There have been instances when running those tools, the high output batteries still deliver more power, not only overall, but in performance wise to the tool. This is a good upgrade. Stop wasting your money on on obsolete battery packs. Go with the upgraded high output packs. You're gonna get more amperage out. You're going to get 
You're going to get longer run times. You're going to get batteries that last longer, run cooler, and they're cheaper. There is only upside to going with the newest technology. And if you like having a clear cut explanation on what you should use, so you don't have to try to figure it out on your own, because we figured it out for you, then smash the like button. It's free for you to do. And it's not like smashing a mirror anywhere else on the planet. Here on the YouTube platform, you'll get seven years of good luck for smashing the like button. With that, I want to say I appreciate each and every one of you for being here. Thanks a lot, everybody. We'll see you all on the next one. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're going to get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet. Let's smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later.